That's a wonderful start. The bronze Adonis rather fancies this one, I got the impression when I was speaking to him earlier on. Well, you never know with Steve, he's always got that, he's always got the same attitude and same smile. 16. Doesn't give a lot away, does he? I know you're a great admirer of throwing styles. Beaton certainly got a good one. Yes, it's a, a Rolls Royce action. Very smooth. 97. That's why he's had longevity. Stephen Not a lot that can go wrong with it. 1996, wasn't it? The Lakeside Triumph. Yeah, remember it well. It was a great day. 134. Stephen Rick 164. 164 can be done. Not now, though. We've well, seen Caven hit that one earlier. 58. Not to mention he's 150 Stephen as well. 36. Oh, very good. 13 dark leg to open proceedings. Really is on the crest of a wave right now, Bunting. Defending, well, the reigning lakeside champion, of course. And he's had a really good start to the PDC career, hasn't he? Yeah, incredible. Amazing that it's only five weeks away. The BDO's version of the World Championships. And the old will be over another five weeks <laughs> or six. He'll be hoping to go a long way in the PDC version this year, won't he? Yeah, he's a, one of the faves. Sixty quarterfinals of the Grand Slam of Darts recently, and also quarters of the. European Championships bunting. 39. Oh, we've seen Andrew Gilding earlier. Completely on the opposite side to where bunting stands. 100. It kind of doesn't look so surprising with a, a right hander, does no. it? But it's just being across on the, the left yeah. hand side as Gilding is. Having to, having to recite cameras with him standing yeah. and throwing there almost. Yeah, it's quite it's quite unusual to see someone, especially a right hander, that's so so far left. Ninety-five. Oh, that's unlucky. Eighty-three. Very. Stephen, you're oh, right. Puts Bunting in prime position. Well, it can hurt him here. It may well be that he's going to have six at it. He'll hope so. 58. Mm. Steve Rickwell, 105. <laughs> 89. Strange way there for, for Beaton. 88. Now bunting, 88. Take one against the throw. 18 would leave the bullseye. Oh, double seven. And he's got it. Two from two so far on the finishing. He's not even got his scoring boots on yet. Terrific crowd in here tonight. And it will get more boisterous as it unfolds. A little bit of Friday night lubrication of the larynx. Sounds like a plan. Not for us. 100. Start. Perfect to to go along the the 60 bed. Steve's one of the uh, group of darters who've uh, reached the half century mark. Had his 50th birthday this year, Steve Beaton. Ronnie Baxter in eighth in action later on, and Phil, of course, as well. He's now still vying to be world number one at the age of 54. For three nil, good dart. And on Phil's performance at the Grand Slam, who'd, uh, who'd bet against him? 
Well, he's going to have a great chance here this weekend. Well, the bunting here is throwing with real confidence. Looks like a man in form. Tops. Good dart. Bolting that leg. Tidy, 100 average. Three doubles out of four as well. 60. Here's the way he did it. Beaten, not even really extending bunting at the moment. Plenty of interesting outfits in the crowd as ever. Fancy dress. An early Santa. Forty-five. Not quite happening at the moment for Beaton. No, it's not uh, not flowing as we know he can. Ninety-six. Tempting to leave a one seventy there, Bunting. What Beaton would give for one eighty? He needs, he needs one. it. Well, one forty is not bad. Yep, leaves him a finish. It's awkward for Bunting that one. It doesn't look like it's planted either. Should stay there. Ninety-six. Well, this can be done. Not, not now. now. With a, not now with a one. <laughs> no. Eighty-one. Stephen, you require 114. Yeah, another 10 plus finish. Trouble 18 tops. No. How many is it we've seen today, Chris? Four, 14. 14. <laughs> Extraordinary figure, isn't it? Yeah. Out of what, 32, 32 last year? And 14 yeah, already. Tournament. Tops now for Beaton. 59. That was Stephen a must for me, 16. I think. I think the writing's on the wall if yeah. Bunting gets this. Not a bad marker. Ooh. This time, surely. Yes. Incredible how he got inside the first start Stephen without it going in the double. 4 0. Mm. Double break. And Beaton's only averaging 84. Hasn't really got into the match at all so far. No, it's, it's not, it's not flowing for him tonight. Using the barrels to deflect it and guide it into that double eight. 60. Pain on Beaton's face. Almost bemused. 90. Yep, he can't quite uh, can't quite understand what's gone wrong. And as I said earlier, he really fancied his chances in this match. And very consistent, always consistent on in the floor tournaments, isn't he, Steve? Yeah, he's there, thereabouts. There, thereabouts. Tough player to beat. One hundred. That oh, one what you, is though. that? What is that? It's like the lead singer of Mott the Hoople. Do you remember the band? Is it Ian Hunter? One hundred. Now, what's all that about? Oh, it's the Chizzy fan club. In action later against an incredible first round match featuring Adrian Lewis. That could be could be one of the matches Chizzy of the night. Yeah. Chizzy's throwing well, isn't he? Very. We've got a break at the end of this leg. 100. What Beaton would do to go into that break at full one. Pirates of the Caribbean. Bunting 170. 100. There's pressure on this jump. He has to get this. Trouble 19. Oh, he's missed it. Not happening for Steve. Stephen Bunting then. 70 for 5 0. Double 16. 
Oh, that is why he's been throwing so well this season. He's finishing terrific at Steve Beaton. Just shaking his head, head in bemusement. It's not happening for him. And Bunting leading by five legs to nil. Stephen Bunting leading 5-0. Oh, we've already seen Ian Hunter. Have we got Freddie Mercury there? Radio Gaga. Yeah, right. Interesting. wonder if he actually can sing. Simplex Steve. Well, you certainly Robert. know you can. Game on. <laughs> on we go to the sixth leg is it going to be a complete whitewash is bunting going to close out the match our first bagel of the tournament looking as though it could be every indication well thrown those very little reward A lot of close competitive matches earlier in the day. If you weren't with us, you missed a bit of a treat. There were some excellent darts. Wes Newton was terrific. Oh, I could hit a double on that one. I don't think you could if you drank that jug of beer. 102. Good thinking. Leaves a, an easier finish at 125. Oh, good cover shots and yeah. beaten. Well, it's all on the ball, this one. There's yeah. the ball. 25 ball. It's too good. It's too good. 109. requires 67. Phenomenal. So beaten, a must get. Double eight. And Steve gets it. Gone. He's into the match. Steve. Pleased about that. Don't so want to see anybody getting gubbed to nil. Will it just be a consolation? Looking to serve it out. He's not really had to be phenomenal tonight, Bunting, to win this. He's averaging 95, beaten 88. 83. Yeah, well below par, beaten. Incredibly, no one, no one eight is in the match. And no ton plus finishing. It's poor. <laughs> Lovely cover shots again from Beaton, who too late has started to find his way. Yeah. Well, you say too late. It would look that way. We said that about Merv King and James Wade. Indeed. One of the great comebacks in winning the Masters up in Edinburgh. Incredible final. Absolute privilege to work on that one. Makes a change to the usual one or two legs that we get, John. <laughs> yeah. 140. Team Wade and Team Taylor. One hundred and forty. Stephen you require one hundred and three. For the match. Trouble 17. Oh. Well, Steve. 62. It's got to go, mate. 101 to keep the match alive. Trouble 19 he's looking for. And has got it. Double 12 now. Brilliant. Well, that's guts. And he keeps the match going. And he's got the dance now. Another. Hundred pounds for the Afghan Trust from our sponsors, cash converters. Fifty-nine. And hundred checkout number fifteen. Correct. Fifty-nine. Surely, surely Beaton can't pull his way all the way back to have a chance of winning this match, can he? I never say never in this game. Keep Peppering the treble twenties, you never know. 
And Bunting just finding those trebles elusive for the yeah, moment. Gone off the boil. Steady again from Beaton. Trevor 19 needs top. We stay in there. 140. Beaten on 77 and looking to win his third leg on the spin now. Yep. 39. Pressure, believe it or not, will be starting to mount on bunting shoulders. 18. Tops now. 37. Looks like another man now, doesn't he? Bunting way back, 284. Totally outscored. He's thrown 12 darts and scored 217. 100. Steve Boyer, 40. Keeler Steve Bunting's wife watching on. My next Stephen to throw first. And it isn't happening all of a sudden. Come on, Stephen. Not a happy bunny. This will cheer her up. Well, there's the checkout. Beaton needs to take everything from here on in. 16. Steve's wife watching on as well. 100. Nanette. A fair player in her own right back in the day. He's keeping his hopes alive. He's hanging in there. 140. Bunting then is on a finish when he returns. Both, Both on a finish. Saving your record, 161. He can't do it. So Beaton will get his opportunity. No treble either. 57. Saving your record, 161. Beaton can find at least one treble. 100. Good last dart, needed yep. it. For the match then, 104, starting at the top of the board. Oh, oh dear me. Now. This is a massive opportunity for Beaton, another break of throw. Well, talk about the wheels falling off, Chris. Totally. 14. 20. 21. Bit of a quick one. Ball on the 16s, this one for the match. This. Trouble 16, double eight. 16, 16, double. For a place in the second round. Double eight. There it is. And Bunting, having thrown not well over the last few legs, closes it out. And he wins by six legs to three. But just for a moment there, Chris, it looked as though it was going all wrong. Yeah. Oh, another comeback on the cards. Steve Beaton, though, is eventually dispatched. The crowd enjoying what they're seeing. Big guns still to come. And there's the final score. Stephen Bunting into the next round, beating Beaton.